Again? Are you sure?
can't fight it now. So, Aethalos was right after all. The ritual was ready. You were not. I'll do it myself this time. I am prepared. I sure could use your help, old friend. These stray essences have taken hold of you, but I know you're still somewhere inside. Meet me at life's cathedral, and let us end the Age of Mortals where it once began. Remember our dream. Remember who you are. Please, Solon, I need you. So, who can enlighten me about the effects of essence corruption on the human body? Anyone besides Howdine? That's when the body begins to deteriorate. This is... <laughs> the heart of Nato himself. The first to die. Consider the knowledge... He plans to reveal our agreement with the Archduke to the rest of the cult. You understand that it must be done, right? When was it? What? That we crossed the line. When? Solon, I, I won't do it unless I hear your command. Well, you've come too far to stop now. run out, my friend. The church will be here soon. We're missing something. Goddess life bestowed upon us the heart. It can't have been in vain. It gives us everything and nothing all at once. It grants us immense power, but our feeble bodies and minds cannot handle it. There's one type of essence we haven't tried yet. Ours. Yes. That's it. We must combine the body of our best volunteer with the essence of one of our strongest. Who would do such a thing? It's suicide if it doesn't work. I wouldn't ask that of anyone. It shall be me. If there's one thing I learned from... It's that there's no molding the inner resolve of an essence. My guest, dear friend, you're just like me. Already tainted.
was I so alone, all alone? Then who are these beings I share my body with? Are they really here? Are they just memories? Goddess Nino, you were meant to be at the stadium ages ago! We've got a full house tonight. Half the people came to just see you play! Shit. Guess they'll be real disappointed then. What the fuck, Nito? You signed a contract! Yeah, don't make me be that fucking guy, the guy who mentions the fucking contract! Thank you very much. They can fine or suspend me all they want. A fucking exhibition match? Come on. I'd love to see that little turd squad win a free coupon without me. What a fucking joke. Come on, buddy. Work with me here, will ya? What about your fans, huh? Get the fuck out. Is Mandli really dead? Was he even here in the first place? This sorrow, this guilt, how I feel, is it his or mine? Everything has lost its flavor, has it not, Nito? All your little pleasures gone one by one. Not even violence or cruelty can make you remember what it is to feel something. Who the fuck are you? And what's with your face? But that's not completely true, is it? You do feel one thing, do you not? And oh, my son, you feel so much. Such pain in your heart, and you can't ever escape it. Seriously, lady, how the fuck did you get in here? No matter how many times you try, it's always there, haunting you. How can any being endure an eternity of suffering? You poor, poor thing. How? How did you know that? When you speak, it... 
It all feels so clear. So peaceful. Oh, Nito. It's simply because I know you so well, my son. I understand. That's why I have come bearing the answer you so desperately seek. Or have you not asked yourself time and time again? Y yes I have. You have but to say it, my son. Please, what can I do to finally stop the pain? The only way is death. Could it be that Olivia has become an integral part of my being? Or has her individuality transcended into something greater? Many selves into oneself. And pray, how might one define oneself to begin with? I think, therefore, am I not?
Theron asks himself if it was all worth it. He closes his eyes in prayer and only sees his father. Anna hates herself for believing she could be part of something else again. And so, the Covenant is agreed upon. Here, at the place underneath where things are left to be forgotten. The answer is given, and the price is set. Nito, my son, you have been bestowed a great honor. Do you accept what must come to be? Yes, my lady. I do. Good. Then it is settled. Go now, my children. Take heart, and understand that soon, mankind will be saved by your willingness to act. It all begins here and now, with you, my dear ones. So rejoice, for your pain shall finally know relief. Blessed be our Savior! My children, do you accept death with all our essences? Was it worth the cost, Solon? All my necessary sacrifices? That pathetic excuse that we've come too far to stop. Now, don't turn my eyes away, monster! Face your victims! Lost yourself along the way, didn't you? Yes. One day you woke up and saw the sun falling to the ground, rolling away, and the night was moonless, starless, so dark the ghosts of past regrets could not find you. Isn't it true? How does it end? It ends when you stop running away from destiny. Until then, you never truly die, but neither will you truly live. You exist in the liminal space between the eternal torment of being and the absolute despair of non-existence. What am I running away from? Yourself. Your memories, which reside within the vessel. It relentlessly pursues you. It tries to kill you at every turn. For it holds the part of you that remembers who you are. To kill it is to die myself. It is to allow yourself to change by releasing the part of you. Allowing Solon to depart. I am not Solon. Now, you are something more. Gathered remnants brought together to recreate your identity. A mimicry of past self, which resulted in a new self, untainted by the burden of memories. To move forward, you must let go of the old self. How is that possible? One does not kill something halfway. What is half dead is alive. What is half alive also lives. One can live a half-life, but one cannot die a half-death. Death must be total. We must die together. You now possess divine essence, bestowed upon me by goddess death. You have the ability to bring an end to that which is eternal. 
As it once took place at the pinnacle of life's cathedral, what is immortal shall be rendered mortal. There, both halves must be united for one whole to perish. Solon's fate will be sealed, and what binds you to your suffering shall fade until it is no more. Open your eyes. Get yourself up. The world is a swamp, but you must swim towards the surface and remember to breathe.
If Aluna has kept her word, the ritual should be about to begin. It all comes full circle. Oh, gorgeous. I still feel like aiding Aluna, but after all they've done, they're as bad as Pogon. At least with that bastard, there's a chance of a cure for us. I don't know. I wouldn't put it past the traitor as cut to double-cross us. I reckon we should offer him the heart. And when the bastard lets his guard down, we stick him like a pig and make him squeal. Channel your rage, Sergeant, and do not let it cloud your judgment. Our sacred duty is to eliminate both threats. It's why we were brought together. We are an instrument of her divine wrath. I'm Doran. What the mages do is sacrilege, but... Were we to deliver the Archduke that sort of power, I, I fear it would mean the end to all I've come to hold dear. We're in a position to alter the course of history. Pabel may well be an ambitious fool, but think of the turmoil those mages threaten to bring about. Frankly, it's no choice at all. We must deliver him the heart and hope he can bring an end to the Essence Mancer's threat. I stand with the old woman. A bet on a lesser evil is better than sitting idle, yes? Well, well, well. Look what the cat dragged in. When we couldn't scry your whereabouts, we thought you had managed to get yourself yeah, destroyed. Yeah. We. Can you even have a single thought in that ugly noggin of yours without Povel's arm up your ass? You fucking puppet. Ah, puppet. Sergeant. Always delightful. So, where's the arch cunt? Did he piss his breeches when he saw we were coming? I'm afraid the Lord Commander had to enter the field of battle. He must even now be dealing with what was left of the cultists' forces at the cathedral. It's the vermin's final stand, one way or the other. It ends tonight. I see. And did he leave you behind to take his messages? <sighs> How? Lord Guillaume, if you're there, I would much prefer talking to someone with manners. I am here, Baron. Much better. And did you perchance find the heart? Yes. We have it in our possession. Marvelous. Then you mustn't waste any time. Go to the Life's Cathedral and deliver it to the Lord Commander. It all hangs in the balance. Actually, we came here for your master's head. But I'll gladly take yours as well. Insolent bastard! I know I can't kill you, but I'll hold you here for as long as I can, in the most painful way possible.
Looks like we're arriving late to the party. To speak of beauty in hidden places, how can those spring flowers bloom so magnificently at this time of year? The plants here bloom as if it was the height of spring all year round. They say it is a blessing of life herself. <laughs> Indeed. Curious, is it not? That the ancient ones would keep a place of worship to Mother's rival, right here in her cathedral. Do you have siblings, Matriarch? I'm afraid not. Me and my brother Lev used to torment each other. All the time. <laughs> Sometimes we hated each other, but we always loved each other. Death and life were sisters, not rivals. You and your brother still torment one another? He died. <laughs> uh, my entire family was killed by the cruelest Golni oppressors. I swore I'd have my revenge on those responsible. And <clears throat> I finally did. You don't sound too happy about it. I chose to abandon my new family to pursue my vengeance. <laughs> I wasn't there when they needed me most. This time, I was the executioner. Comrade Ahadib. Renato. I am so sorry. I got them killed. For what? Now, my inside is uh, hollow, and my lady will never forgive me. You know you're not the only death worshipper here in the crouch here, right? But, in all these years, you're the first one to come here and light candles in her honor. Child, it's not her that has to forgive you, but you who has yet to forgive yourself. You're... Uh, you're right. I cannot erase my sins, but uh, there is still something I can do to mend my essence. And after that, uh, maybe one day I can give it a try.
Love. This one should be called betrayal, yes? Though I share your vision, I know well the depths of where one's capable of going for her kin. <laughs> I can't help you, I'm a bit sympathetic. What are we doing here, huh? In the end, has any part of me shaped our decision? Or are we just passengers along for the ride? Hmm, and why can't it be both? Even a small thought, word or action, may help shape an idea after all. I have always prided myself as a creature of intellect. Even hampered by this condition, if a piece of my mind may still serve my ideals, I will not hesitate. Enough with this shite. I hate being stuck with you sorry lot, but as long as we keep splitting skulls, I ain't complaining much. <laughs> You're a disgrace to our faith, and you know that. Nay, I'd say I was perhaps her most devout follower, love. Spreading her grace like no other bloke in the church. Perhaps there's no right answer. I'm tired of my faith battling my heart. <clears throat> Maybe the struggle is what matters. The endless cycle of life and death. So we may have no control whatsoever, and it's just what? Following an otherworldly conscience's every whim.
I can't. What? What do you mean you can't? You know, you were chosen by none other than the lady herself. For very aces, resides within you, for death's sake. All she had left. The fate of the entire world rests on your shoulders. This is a mistake. You don't understand. You can't. You don't know what it feels like. Seize him! No. Wait. I'm not ready. I want to live. I'm, I'm Nino Hidetaka. Well, what do you know? The prophet refused. Refused the gift of death. And just like that, humanity became mortal overnight. He rejected it. Let us not waver in our faith. It only strengthens mine. How so? In the end, finitude brings part us. Speaking of finitude...
Rest assured, Alona, knowing that all your occult secrets lie in our far more capable hands. What? You're going to bring immortality back to us. Hmm? Surely not to everyone. That's a child's pursuit. Please. Eternity isn't meant for men. It's a divine right. Or a burden to be carried by those who pledge to serve the true eternal. Oh, that's grand. I never thought you'd be the type to deceive yourself. <laughs> and what about you, Aluna? As a devotee of life, you don't seem afraid to meet your end. It doesn't have to be here. The essence monsters had to be wiped, but you can still join me. Under my leadership, immortality can be within your reach. <gasps> Who would have thought that some fates could be worse than death? <laughs> oh, you have no idea. I knew I could count on you. Well, can it still be done? With your assistance, there's a chance. I'll never forgive myself for letting him go this easily. It may have lacked finesse, but it's satisfactory for me. She can stabilize it with more power. Much more.
That's no longer a Lorna.
the church's reign of terror will persist. Now, stronger than ever. One day it shall end. That is the fate of all things. <laughs>